Hi, welcome to Common English Idioms Part 2 by LearningEnglishPro.com. Hear it on the grapevine. This means to learn of something informally or unofficially through gossip or rumour. An example in conversation is, I heard it on the grapevine that Maria is buying the house. Let sleeping dogs lie. Avoid interfering in a situation that is not currently causing any problems, but may well do so as a result of such interference. An example from conversation is, David and Sam work well together, so I won't make any changes yet. I will let sleeping dogs lie for now. Hit the nail on the head. To be accurate in your assessment of a situation, find the correct answer to something or perform a task perfectly. An example from conversation is, that was a great dinner choice. You really hit the nail on the head. Jump on the bandwagon. To join an activity that has become popular or to change your opinion to one that has become very popular so that you can share in its success. An example from conversation is, Everyone is wearing those funny t-shirts. I think I will jump on the bandwagon and buy one. Devil's Advocate One who argues against a cause or position, not as a committed opponent, but simply for the sake of argument, or to determine the validity of the cause or position. An example in conversation is, I think you are correct. But let me play devil's advocate for a moment and propose a different perspective. Off your rocker. Used in a slightly derogatory way to describe someone whose actions or thoughts are outside acceptable norms. An example in conversation is, if he thinks I'm going to the forest at night, he is off his rocker. Feeling under the weather. Meaning, to feel unwell or ill. An example in conversation is, Diane has been in bed for three days. She is really fitting under the weather. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. You should not make plans that depend on something good happening before you know that it has actually happened. An example in conversation is, he thinks he has gotten the new job and wanted to buy an expensive new suit but I told him not to count his chickens before they hatch. Once in a blue moon. This means something that happens very rarely. An example in conversation is, I never get to see my uncle. He only comes home from abroad once in a blue moon. Sit on the fence used to describe a person's lack of decisiveness, neutrality, or hesitance to choose between two sides in an argument or a competition, or an inability to decide due to lack of courage. An example in conversation is, don't sit on the fence, tell me which shoes should I wear for the interview? That's all for this video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And keep learning English like a pro.